Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve issues you might have with your system maintenance utility in Windows. So generally the system maintenance utility by default will run scans I believe every 30 days or so just to perform any optimization tasks that might be generally regarded as best practices in Windows. And in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys if you're having an issue using the utility or perhaps you're getting an error alert or it's not turning on or turning off. This tutorial will hopefully resolve the issue for you guys. So we're going to start by heading over to the Start menu and we're going to type in Troubleshooting. It should be listed right above Control Panel. So just left click on that. Now in this new Troubleshooting window, left click on the View All button on the left side here. Now you want to scroll down this list until you get to System Maintenance near the bottom. I believe it's about 7 up from the bottom. You want to just proceed to double click on System Maintenance here. And we get a new dialog window saying System Maintenance find and clean up unused files and shortcuts and perform maintenance tasks. So if we're having an issue with it, we're going to definitely be in the right place for this tutorial. So once you've read that, just left click on Next here and it'll begin scanning for any issues that could be detected within system maintenance and we see that we might need administrator permission so we're going to left click on try troubleshooting as an administrator if you get this uh, screen so just keep that in mind and we can see that no changes or updates were necessary now this could definitely be different in your guys' case if you were having an issue with the system maintenance utility personally I haven't had an issue with it on this machine but I thought I'd just do a brief tutorial for you guys who might be having a problem with it. So I do hope that this worked for some of you guys. So if this utility does detect anything, I'd recommend following the on-screen instructions to how to resolve the issue, either automatically or manually. And if for some reason you are still unable to resolve any issues, you can always view detailed information at the bottom left with this hyperlink and it'll give you a little bit more detailed information as to what was scanned for, what was checked, detected, and so forth. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.